What's poppin' Diva Gang? How are y'all today? We're gonna be working on this jade and rose quartz marble design today. And do you notice anything different? We have a new background, sis. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but you know, it's purple, it matches my brain colors. So comment below, let me know how you guys feel about it. Is it distracting? Do you like it better than the background I had before? I don't know, that background was just starting to look a, a little too dusty. You know, I spilled mad like acetone and stuff on it, so it was losing its luster. So I just decided it was time for a change. But yes, let me know how you guys feel. So yes, girl, we're gonna be working on the uh, rose quartz and jade marble designs today. You know, summertime is right around the corner and everybody loves a good marble, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all how to achieve that perfect, crystallized, realistic kind of marble look. And um, this video is a little bit longer because it is kind of like a lot of steps. But if you've been struggling with your marble or you're just not satisfied with how it's been coming out and you wanna learn a really good technique to achieve like that real, real, like, you know, realism, kind of like realistic looking marble, then just stay tuned. So. Up until this point, I've just done my regular prep routine. I'm using these long square tips. Y'all have seen me use these before on this channel. They're not extra long, but they're just long. And I like these for like a comb, you know, like I wanna still have long nails and be cute, but I don't, um, you know, I wanna be able to like go through my day without having my nails in the way. These nails are a really, really good length for that. They're kind of like a medium length to me, to be honest, but they still are pretty long. So I just did a coat of primer and then I went in with a coat of base coat, cured that for 30 seconds. And now I'm starting with my first layer, you guys. So you're gonna wanna make sure that for these marbles in particular, you use like sheer colors. So for the rose quartz marble, I put down one coat of a color from the brand Born Pretty. I got it in like a jelly pink kind of set. Um, let me know if you guys want the link to that, but it was the shade in the set called Cranberries. It comes with like diff six different, um, like jelly pink shades and that particular shade was called Cranberries and I just put one coat of that and then I kind of had to mix up my own like jelly green color cause I don't have a really, really bright jelly green. So that's just what you saw me do there and I just used base coat. And this little kind of like, it's not really a neon green, but it's like a bright springy grassy green. And I just mixed those two together. I used more base coat than green though, because I wanted this to be very, very sheer because we're gonna be doing a lot of layers. The key to a really, really good marble, in my opinion, is layers. Um, if you look at like a real piece of rose quartz or jade, you can kind of see that it looks layered you know it's not like all of the marbling is not just on the surface it's 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 a very like layered kind of is it a mineral whatever but so i just put down one coat of each of those and cured them for 30 seconds now i'm going in with my first layer so i took some white gel polish and just kind of like splotched it onto the nail very very randomly um and they're pretty big splotches because i wanted this to cover most of the nail so I just did that and now I'm going in with some acetone and I'm spreading it out because I want to make this look very, very cloudy. Okay, again, this is our, is this our second layer now? Yeah, this is our second layer. And although we're going to be doing a lot of layers, because so many of them are so thin and we're going to be blending a lot of them out like this that I'm doing here, the nail is not really going to thicken up on you too much or, you know, um, become too pinched or too small for you to wear your correct size so if you're worried about that um don't be for this particular method it's not gonna happen so yeah i just did that and then you know you have to cure it you know if you're using gel polish so don't forget to do that uh just for 30 seconds or however long your brand that you're using recommends so after I went in and cured that for 30 seconds, I went in with another layer of, you know, the primary color, my quartz color that I'm using. So I just did one coat of that over my first kind of marble 
layer and this right here is our third layer now so I, yeah like I said I just went over that and then I did the same thing with the um, jade color nails I just went over it again with that little mixture that I put together and what this does what using a lot of layers like this does essentially is it helps to um, I don't really know if blend is the right word but it does kind of help to blend and make everything look a little bit more seamless and even though there's like some sort of nail art or marbling in between each of these layers in the end result as you saw in the beginning it doesn't come out like messy looking or like um you know you're not able to really tell what it is i feel like in the end result you can kind of you can tell like i was going for a marbleized look so after i did that um that third coat of the primary color i went in with this more opaque pink color and what this is gonna do is it's going to kind of um make your marble a little bit more defined um when you use like a sheer color but then you use like an opaque version of that color it just kind of like it not only adds to kind of i guess the layered effect of everything but it makes it look a little bit more realistic and it also um it does add kind of like that separation factor in there and I don't know if you look at a piece of rose quartz that's another thing I wanted to recommend is if you are having trouble doing any of these kind of like marble designs it could be this it could be um the green one or you can if you're trying to do amethyst which I am gonna do a video on how to do the perfect amethyst nails so stay tuned for that but yeah basically I just went in with like a regular light pink color you can also probably use like a really 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 dark pink but I couldn't I didn't really have that color that I was thinking of in my possession because it's not quite red it's kind of it would be kind of like something in between a purple or a purple and a pink or maybe like a red I don't know really what I'm trying to say Now for the jade nails, I'm essentially doing the same thing, but I'm using a dark green. And earlier before I had started to say that if you look at like a piece of jade or a piece of um, rose quartz, they, I don't know, they, they all look a little different to me, to be honest. But some of them do have kind of those like streaks, that's what I'm looking for, like streaks of like, the darker color in there so I feel like this just helps make it more real, look realistic looking as well but after I cured those layers for 30 seconds what is this the fourth or fifth layer I don't know I lost count but I'm doing another coat of that primary color so I did one coat of rose the rose um, quartz color the cranberries color and then for the jade nails I did another coat of my green color and when you're doing this design, one little tip or a piece of advice that I have is don't think about it too much, you know, just do it. Just get the polish on the nail because when you do think about it too much, like I feel like that's kind of when you start to get frustrated and it doesn't really maybe come out the way that you want it to or as organic looking. And to be honest, you just can't think about it too much. You just got to do it because it'll look a little bit messy, um, you know but you gotta trust the process and know that everything will come out right in the end. So after those layers were cured, I went over them with a coat of nail art foil glue because we're gonna add some like oil spill foil kind of to these nails and you'll see what I mean by that in a second. But I added one layer of that and then I cured for 60 seconds. So once that was cured for 60 seconds, this is the transfer foil that I'm gonna be using. You can kind of see, like I tried to show you there how it has like a little bit of an oil spill design on it. Um, and then I was also trying to show you, although I don't really think it came across, that there's a matte side and there's a shiny side. And if you've never worked with transfer foil before, you want the matte side to be touching the nail. Um, Femi Beauty calls the shiny side the pretty side. So you want the pretty side up, okay, the side where you can actually see the design, and then you want the matte side to be the side that's gonna transfer and touch the nail. 
and if you're using a really good uh foil glue then this won't be too hard at all so i definitely recommend that beetles one i've also heard that the mccart one is good too so if you're looking for a new foil glue give either one of those a try and doing this makes the most subtle difference to be honest like you really can't see it here but in the light in the light when you kind of move your hand around and you get to like kind of look at those different reflexes like these nails look so pretty like outside i feel like and i'm so mad because the day that i um was editing this video it's raining outside like there's no sun where i am at all today and I'm just so mad because I really, really wanted to get like a picture or a video of these nails out freaking side, but they still came out super cute. So now I'm going in and I'm splotching some more white polish on the nail, but this time I'm doing smaller dots and in, instead of like blending them out over the entirety of the nail, I'm kind of just spreading them out where they are, if that makes sense. Again, don't think about this too much, but... You can kind of see what I mean, you know, like before, whereas I was trying to make the whole nail cloudy, now I'm just trying to have cloudy spots, if that makes sense. And when you think about spreading your polish this way, this is kind of what's going to help you get that multi-layered look, that, um, that real like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just going to look very organic is what I mean. So, um... Yeah, so another piece of advice that I have, oh, and then I went over that with another layer of the green and pink polish. But another advice, piece of advice that I have is to use a reference. Use like a realistic reference when you're trying to do something that's actually in nature. So if you're trying to create like 3D flowers, if you're trying to paint, you know, hand painted flower art, if you're trying to do something like this, if you're trying to, anything that you can find like, in nature that you're trying to recreate on a set of nails or anything if you're trying to draw it definitely use a reference if you can oh when you're able to kind of look at how it is naturally and how it exists in nature and see it it's a little bit easier to like study it and be able to um recreate it so i feel like i'm rambling a little bit but whatever so now we're moving on to our final uh layer and this is where things start to look really 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 good okay um we're gonna be adding those like top layer like actual marbled lines okay and you can see i just use like a fine detail brush and then I just painted them on there. Okay, I painted them on there very haphazardly. And like I said, use a reference just so that you can see like the different directions and things. But I painted them on there and now with the acetone, instead of um, spreading the polish, I'm using more of a tracing motion to thin these lines out and make them look very marbleized like how it does right there you want to make sure you use a tracing motion and not so much of like a dotting motion if that makes sense and i feel like i'm not ever really satisfied until i get to like that final final layer you know what i'm saying like until i'm like here at this point and things start to look like how they're supposed to then i'm finally like satisfied but secretly like up until this point i kind of feel like everything looks a mess and um but you know like i said you just can't really like think about it too much you know what i'm saying so i'm just going to allow you guys to watch me um work this marble and just kind of see how the um, finished result of it comes out and then i will be back
So this is how the um, marble turned out on both of the nails. I think it looks so pretty, y'all. Which hand do you like better, the green hand or the pink hand? Giving me all of my Cosmo and Wanda vibes, okay? So now I'm going in with these um, Chinese character, Chinese writing symbol stickers. And I just put one sticker just right on the middle finger. And I thought that was such a nice touch. Um, I really, really thought that was such a nice touch, to be honest. And I am really actually impressed with the way that these nails came out. I didn't, I mean, I, I could do some marble, y'all. But I just didn't expect them to come out so pretty. Like, and I'm really glad that I decided to do one hand pink and one hand green because I could show you guys different styles like you're getting a two for one here you're getting a two for one here okay so yeah they just look super pretty to me and gold foil in my opinion just looks really 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 good with um this kind of marble nail art so i just put down a layer of base coat and then before curing i took some of that loose gold foil and ripped off just some little pieces of it uh, and just uh, sat it down into that uncured base coat gel and cured for 30 seconds and then after that was out of the lamp I went in for the final layer of top coat and I just um, you know I'm really happy with the way that these nails came out so comment below let me know what you think of them if you decide to give my method a try um, tag me on instagram i would love to see your recreations i'm thinking about making this a set that you can actually purchase on my site i think i'm gonna do that comment below and let me know if i should do that because i just love how it came out the pictures that i took came out so pretty i just i just um you know i really wish i could have taken these nails outside but it's super gloomy and gross today so that wasn't even a possibility but whatever you know so after my top coat was cured for 30 seconds i'm going in and i'm filing around the edges of the nails just because like you know we did do a lot of layers and our shape didn't get lost too much but you know you know y'all know i always like to reinforce the shape anyway and then this is our final results i think they just look so pretty on my hands um, you can also, you know, use like different colors if you want to use like a, um, you know, like a purple or like a lighter pink. That'd probably be really, really, really cute. Um, this pink did come out a little darker than I expected it to, but it's still really cute. And I really feel like it looks so realistic. Like I'm telling you, the key to a realistic crystallized marble is layers. Layers, okay? Um... I just reminded myself of like that scene in Shrek where he's like, layers, onions have layers. But anyway, um, yes, I want to do a whole like jade green set, but like a junk nails kind of set, like a mashup, everything in the kitchen sink kind of set. But like, you know, have the jade be like the focus. I still kind of tried to need to need to try to map that out or whatever i have so many ideas y'all i don't know if by the time i post this video my life update will be out it might be but yeah if it is i'll link it in the cards y'all know i'll be pre-filming to the death of me okay but if you like this video leave me a comment below let me know which hand you like better the pink or the green are you team cosmo or team wanda let me know um give this method a try if you're having a hard time um perfecting your marble making it look realistic and tag me in your recreations give my video a like so that it can get recommended to more divas like you and also hit that subscribe button so that you can be a part of the gang and turn your post notifications on so that you never miss any of my uploads if you're still here thank you so much for watching my channel is um you know i see the growth every day and i'm just super duper excited i have something really really special coming in august so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, love you, Diva Gang. Peace. Mwah.